Davis will be pulling out of lane two. Out there in lane three, California State or Sacramento State, Cal State, Sacramento. Kansas will be moving out of lane four. That'll be Kansas State. Uh, University of San Diego is in lane five. And State University of New York, Buffalo campus, will be rolling out of lane number six. Coming up, the Women's Collegiate Varsity Cal Cup Grand Final. out about an inch. Lane four, out about an inch. Lane one, out about an inch. Lane two, back about an inch. Lane two, back about an inch. Lane three, out about an inch. Okay. Yeah. Pardon? Bob Uh, Bob here. Uh, Mike Rosenbaum is at the op stock waiting for Dave Hayes. Don't know if he's in your area. Alignment in event number 75, Women's Cal Cup, racing for the Sam Adams Mesa Distributing Cup. And they're away in the Women's Cal Cup Grand Final. Perfect conditions on the start. In the actual start area, dead flat calm. And they've all got away fast, but none faster than Sac State. So Sac State have grabbed an early advantage of about a canvas coming up to the 100 meter mark. Closely followed by UC Davis. As the race unwinds, it's Sac State hanging on to that slight lead, followed by Davis and San Diego State. The challenge on the far side is coming from the University of San Diego and falling back slightly at this point are Kansas State and the SUNY Buffalo. Going through the 250, Sac State maintain that canvas lead that they grabbed off the start. San Diego State have moved on UC Davis and pulled level with them. University of San Diego on the far side, uh, down only about a third of a length on those three crews at the front. Uh, the SUNY Buffalo have uh, pegged back University of San Diego and are pulling uh, level with them. And the crew in lane four, Kansas State University, have settled and are pushing back on the rest of the field. As we come down to the 500 meter mark, it's still Sac State by a quarter of, uh, by a canvas, followed in a, almost a dead heat for second by San Diego State in lane one and UC Davis in lane two, closely followed by the University of San Diego and SUNY Buffalo on the far side who are pushing the University of San Diego hard. In last place at the moment, but by no means out of contention is Canvas State who have settled well and are pushing back on the rest of the crews through 500 meters recapping our lane assignments it's san diego state university currently battling for the lead and they're in lane number one it's very tight with the university of california davis in lane number two our current leader at 500 meters in lane three sacramento state out in lane four is kansas state university the university of san diego is in lane five and in lane six is state university of new york buffalo campus and the call at 500 meters was Sac State in the lead with San Diego State and Davis following. And then comes the University of San Diego, Buffalo, and Kansas State University.
up there to the bow marker from San Diego State. In our picture, UC Davis. Behind them, Sacramento State. University of San Diego. Buffalo and Kansas State. As they are coming up on 1,000 meters in this race. It is Davis in lane number two, San Diego State and Sacramento State fighting it out. Then out to the outside, we're going to go to Kansas State, University of San Diego and Buffalo. The Davis Aggies clearly on the move here out of lane two. They've picked up a lot of ground on the rest of the field and have pulled out to almost a boat length on on all boats concerned. Our early leader Sacramento State has fallen back into second spot filed by San Diego State. Our leader Davis Aggies stroke Cox combination. Almost a bird's eye view there of what the oars women they themselves can see they have the rest of the flight behind them. You've got to have a lot of faith if you lose contact that you're going to fight your way back into it. Shot there up close San Diego State University rowing here on Mission Bay. We're racing for the grand final and the women's Cal Cup. Davis continuing to lead the field but out there in the, the outside lane five University of San Diego and Buffalo in lane six still in contention as they approach 500 meters it is Davis they made a move between uh, well about 750 meters into this race and they have picked up the lead and trying to expand on it on the outside though they're being challenged by the University of San Diego and uh, State University of New York Buffalo campus. Uh, back to the lane three Sacramento State our early leader has fallen back a bit and then off the pace is San Diego State and Kansas State. Checking quickly the lane assignment San Diego State on the shoreline followed by Davis on the outside in lane three Sac State Kansas State in lane four University of San Diego in lane five and Buffalo in lane six and all the way on the outside an excellent race beginning to shape up between Buffalo San Diego and on the inside Davis. 250 to go our leader with almost a boat length on the field University of California Davis Aggies. And along the shoreline here it looks like it looks like the University of San Diego on the hunt on the lead along the shoreline it is uh, Davis and all the way outside it's going to be Buffalo pulling hard and we're going to have an exciting finish right here as they hit 100 meters it is the University of California Davis slightly ahead and then on the outside it is the University of San Diego and Buffalo coming up to the middle Sac State trying to get back into it. It'll be worth watching Davis on the near side University of San Diego on the far side and the far outside it is Buffalo and they're nearing our finish line. It is Davis apparently holding off the fight and uh, that is the University of San Diego and then on the far outside Buffalo an outstanding finish and a great run towards the last part of our race. Very strong move in the sprint phase there from the University of San Diego just came up a little bit short. Fine racing by University of California Davis to hold him off for the victory. A great finish and a nice roll and we have some great and excellent uh, video available for this check in with the DVD that will be available in about an hour at the merchandise tent. Here are the official results from event number 71 women's club final. It was run by Rocky Mountain the time of 718.3. They defeated Lake Washington by a mere three tenths of a second. Third place went to Corvallis. San Diego Rowing Club was fourth. Lake Union was fifth and Sacramento State was sixth. Event number 72 men's club final. Final results was won by Long Beach Rowing Association time of 648.7. 
Second place went to Marin, followed by Pocock, Ashland, Rocky Mountain fifth, and running sixth, Lake Union. In the women's JV grand final, the official results, Washington, time of 636.5, defeated USC, who was second, 636.5. 